I'm Olivia Radcliffe and this is an eBeam Crash Course. about cross-linking and about cross-linkable polymers, but what exactly is it about polymers that makes them likely to cross-link? Well, one of the qualities is whether the polymer is amorphous or crystalline. When a polymer is crystalline, its molecular chains are organized and oriented in a fixed direction. Amorphous polymers are the exact opposite. Their molecular chains are random and free jumbled. Crystalline polymers are hard and structured, like a diamond. Their molecular chains are locked against each other, which means they're more likely to break than they are to bend when placed under pressure. Now, this tight configuration doesn't really lend itself well to change, like cross-linking. On the other hand, the molecular structure of amorphous polymers have more space to move around each other, which makes them likely to cross-link. Let's look at this another way. If you're going on vacation and you pack your suitcase in a crystalline manner, which is typically how I like to pack, the contents are going to be folded, organized, and there isn't going to be a lot of space for things to shift around. If, however, you prefer to pack in a more amorphous manner, no judgment, you might be running late to get out the door to the airport and stop long enough just to throw a few essentials in a bag. When these two suitcases arrive at their destination, the crystalline packing method will most likely mean everything is still in its proper place. The amorphous packing method, however, means contents are likely to shift. So while I might personally favor the crystalline packing method, when it comes to cross-linking, amorphous is preferred. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.